All right. How you doing, Steve? Oh, good. How you doing, Max? Okay, we're yeah, rolling. Nice uh, Mars Attacks poster like that. Ah, oh, thanks. You got good eyes, man. Thank you for that. Uh, no, uh, I'm really excited to be joined by you right now. And before I even get into this interview with Max, everybody, just a heads up, we are going to be talking spoilers for season four, episodes one through three. So make sure you watch those first before we get into this. So as you're saying, thank you for the compliment, Max. How are you doing today? Good, man. Thank you for your time. Oh, no problem. So can you clear up for us with episode three here? We get a lot of Nick action and I'm wondering, was it totally Nick's idea to bring Hannah in to get June to spill the beans here? Or was he not even actually involved with that process? So repeat the question for me one more time. So was Nick the one behind having Hannah come in to see June, to get June to actually spill the beans of where the handmaids were? Or is that... Oh, um, I definitely don't think so. No, I don't, okay. I don't think that Nick would ever be capable of being so personally responsible for something that malevolent, especially yeah. not something that would have that kind of impact on June. No, that's all sort of antithetical to his intentions, I think. Okay, good. You know, that's, that's a relief to hear because we want, Nick is like literally one of the biggest fan favorites of this show. And that's good to hear that for people. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting because Nick being a huge fan favorite, there was such an outcry last season for more Nick screen time. And we're getting that this season. Were you aware of that reaction to the fans or you kind of tune out that noise? Um, <laughs> a little bit, but I think also sort of slightly confounded by it um, because, you know, he, I thought he was pretty present in season three, but I also felt like the story very naturally wanted a different kind of focus at that point in the narrative. Do you know what I mean? We're telling yeah. a big story here that's going to run for a minute. You know, we're, we're doing a fifth season of the show. I don't think it's giving anything away. So we've got somewhere to go. Um, and I felt as a viewer and a fan of the show myself that like that in season three, my interest was in a different direction and um nick was you know a, a, away at you know at war and um paying his dues so uh yeah he's back in a he's in a, he's back in a, a different way this season i think he's affected by those experiences sure and we see him a different man too because now he's this commander nick we're getting to know and what complicates his character so much is it seems like he's like back and forth with valuing where he is in gilead and keeping himself safe but also protecting June. Can you kind of clear maybe where you have Nick's head currently in the season? Yeah, I mean, look, I, I play him, so I might be biased. And um, sure, I see him through, you know, probably rose-tinted lenses. But <laughs> my my understanding of of Nick is that he he he's always sort of trying to utilize his position to Jen, June's benefit. I think he has a tremendous amount of guilt about his history and his past and wants to compensate for that. And this is his path towards some kind of redemption. At the same time, he can't, he can't sacrifice his position because then he can no longer be useful. So it's this kind of balancing act. He's always trying to, to figure out and he doesn't always get it right, which is what's so fun to play. But I, I believe his heart is in the right place. I want to see more of that because it seems like there's just such a mystery to this character and it's exciting character and you kill it here and people love that you're getting now the screen time again. It's really exciting. Uh, Thanks, man. Max, thank you so much for joining me today and everyone obviously check out The Handmaid's Tale on Hulu every Wednesday, a new episode drops and I hope to talk to you again in the future sometime. Thanks, Steve. I appreciate the time.